What up YouTube? I am Dom Knight. This is Knight Talks and we are back with another Reaction Wednesday. Before we get into the video, you know what we got to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm trying to get 100 subs by July. Go with some size miles on the prize. Help me out, all right? Today, what are we reacting to? Fresh and Fit Podcast, all right? This is six step checklist to determine if she's long-term material so this should be interesting now I, I do watch these guys channel a little bit not a ton but i do i've seen quite a bit of their content um i do like their channel but you know i they say some stuff sometimes and i'm like eh. but overall they do have a good podcast entertaining the style they got going on i do like it so let's jump right into this and we're gonna see what's going on with this all right so guys if, if any of you guys are out here in a relationship i'm gonna have to ask you guys a couple of things does your girl one cook and clean unprompted does she shut up in front of your friends does she ask for your permission to do things out of respect does she forego hanging out with friends in public settings such as clubs nightclubs etc for you does she give you sex regardless of how she feels? And then finally, did she give up her social media for you? <laughs> okay. If she isn't doing these basic things for you guys, you need to start really considering if this girl is the one. Okay? Because I always say it on this podcast, man. The way the world is right now in Western society, most women, not all, but a lot, come from fatherless homes and or come from what I, what I would consider maybe a, a, a female-led household or whatever it is. And the thing is, is that when a woman isn't raised by her father or doesn't have strong masculine figures in her life, her ability to respect and defer to male authority is inhibited to a degree, okay? So most girls that you meet in the United States, in the West, whatever it is, you're going to have to train bad habits out of them. Yeah, I know people say, oh my God, no, no, you're such a misogynist. How dare you? No, no. I'm going to say it again. You got to train bad habits out of them. If you take a Western girl. All right. Uh, <laughs> he, he said a lot there. Um, the, the main thing I took away is I get some of this, but a lot of it is, is a bit controlling to me. Um, I do think there needs to be respect in a relationship. I do think you guys need to communicate. The giving up the social media thing, I don't, I, I get his reasoning because I've heard him speak about this before, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I really don't. I mean, a lot of girls, they don't do anything on their social media. There's a lot of girls who are on social media who literally just talk to their family, friends, post pictures of their family, you know, husband, kids, whatever. Like... I don't see it as a big deal. Really don't. Now, if she's on there, you know, doing dirt, then obviously, yeah, then that's a problem. But I don't think she needs to give it all up, you know. That's that's my personal opinion. And, I mean, it just, it just sounds like he wants a mindless person. And I get, I do get, I agree with some of these points, but I can't say I agree with all of them. But let's continue. Modern woman, and you tell her, hey, I want you to cook and clean for me. I want you to, you know, be submissive, follow my lead, uh, be a dutiful girlfriend, whatever it is. She's going to look at you like, are you crazy? Like, I ain't doing all that. Fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. But she's going to expect you to be taller than her, make more money than her, be decisive, be masculine, be a leader, protect her in times of danger. In other words, it's a bad deal for most guys because you're held to a traditional standard while she is not held to a traditional standard. Her roles are negotiable. Yours are static. So it's a bad deal. For you as a guy. Um, All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause it right there too. Okay, now that, what he just said, a lot of that is true. That is true. Um, women do have extremely high expectations for men in a lot of situations. Although they may not be bringing that much to the table themselves, you know. Um, I do think if you want a guy who has all these things... You need to be coming with something because you want a guy who is just highly above average. So let's continue. Plus, you have the frame where you come into the relationship and you tell her this is how it goes. You don't have to be with me. But if you do want to be with me and you want a relationship, this is how it goes. 
Otherwise, you are only going to get penis and nothing else. Done. You know what I'm saying? And I need you guys to make these women qualify to you for the relationship. The problem is when you give a girl a relationship and she hasn't worked for it, she does stupid shit like this, cheating on you, embarrassing you, whatever it may be. And the other thing, too, is that you need to be a dominant leader. And being a dominant leader is saving her from her own bullshit. Whether you guys want to accept it or not, women get turned on when you check them, bro. I don't know what it is, son. Some kind of crazy psychology That's in their mind. When you That's tell them, facts. yo, don't fucking do that. Or, yo, don't do Like, I don't want you doing this. If you want to do it, that's cool, but I'm leaving. That's going to make her think twice because the problem is that most guys don't hold women accountable. I'm going to say that again. Most men don't hold women accountable. And if you guys don't believe me, watch true. this fucking podcast and look at all these women, how they operate when I talk to them. I'm not even out here trying to court them or date them or nothing, and they're acting crazy. Could you imagine if they had the advantage of me trying to approach them sexually? They would treat me even worse. They're on a podcast in 1080p, Live stream with 10,000 live viewers acting a fool. Why? Because many modern day women aren't held accountable for their actions, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When I kicked that guy out yesterday, even though he was mad and he didn't like it, men understand that there's an invisible barrier of a possibility of violence at all times. He gets up, he leaves, right? Girls, you got to call the fucking cops. I go nowhere. Attacking me and Chris, whatever, because she knows that we ain't going to punch her. You know what I'm saying? If we did, we'd probably kill her. So... Knowing that many modern-day women operate like this, you guys need to arm yourselves with bazookas because you guys, like I said before, have butter knives in a fucking bazooka fight. You guys are not equipped to deal with a lot of these modern-day women, which means, <clears throat> say it on the podcast too, people are going to get offended. You got to keep your fucking foot on their neck, okay? And I don't mean that literally for you dumb niggas out there. Okay, I'll put it No, don't really put your foot on your neck. But what I'm saying is you need to assert dominance all the time and not be scared to assert said dominance when she does something stupid. I want to uh, I want to go on Instagram. Well, you can, no problem. But we ain't gonna be. I'm not gonna take you serious no more. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, too, guys. Once you reach a certain level, you have money, you have status, whatever it is, you have the leverage. It's your way or the highway. She can't replace you. We live in a world though now where men are incentivized to be have a, a scarcity mindset, while women have an abundance mindset. The reason why girls want to keep Instagram, go to the club, and do all this extra fuck shit is because women always want to be able to reserve the right to have backup options. OK, they always want to do that. So if you try to take that away from them, they fight tooth and nail. But you want to know what? When you take it away from her, you protect her from herself. You assert dominance. You let her know that you're not one to be played with. And most importantly, she's going to respect you guys. The foundation of female attraction lies in respect. And that respect needs to come from a fear of loss. Say that again. A fear of loss creates respect. Let me pause that right there. In the context, what he's saying, I get exactly what he's saying. I get exactly what he's saying. He does make a lot of sense in the context of what he's describing. Um, but just me personally, I don't I don't think it's necessary. Uh, now, if she's one of them club girls, that's me personally. That's not my type of girl. I don't I don't really do the, the, the girls who do the whole club scene. That's not me. But I don't really care if she's on social media or not. Now, obviously, if she's on there dotting it up and acting a fool then yeah that's a problem but i don't really care if she's on there you know just doing whatever posting memes or whatever but let's continue okay but that fear of loss can only exist if you're high value and worthy of losing a lot of you niggas aren't worthy of losing yep living with your mom smoking weed being a fucking dork you know what i'm saying like uh, supplicating to her qualifying yourself to her you know what i'm saying a lot of you guys are out here like literally like chasing ass and not working on yourself but when yep. you work on yourself and you make yourself, as Rolo says, your own mental point of origin, these women come correct. You want to know why? Because when you're attractive and you work on yourself, guess what? Other girls are going to notice that. And when other girls like you, then your girl's going to like you more. And she's going to do everything in her power That's to keep true. you. She ain't going to be worrying about posting pictures of her ass on the internet or doing this extra shit. She's going to start to do things unprompted for you because she understands that your value is higher than hers. And whether people want to say it or not, women only want men that are better than them. They want a man better than them. This whole feminist agenda of I want an equal partner, a uh, 50 50 partnership, shut the fuck up. It's true. It's cap. You want a man that's superior to you. So I need you niggas to start acting like you're superior to these women. I'm not saying you're better than her, as in like for, uh, for you know, human rights or anything like that. But what I am saying is within the confinements of this relationship, you're the leader. It's a dictatorship now. My way or the highway. Back to the streets or in the sheets with me. Period. There is no way around it. 
You want this security? You want this provisioning? You want this leadership? Cool. You will get it. But it comes at a cost. A lot of you guys are giving these chicks a free fucking home rent free, bro. And they're not doing shit to pay for it. <laughs> they need to pay with it, with their femininity, their submission, and being a good, dutiful girlfriend. I've had guys, I've been at parties and shit like that. Dude's girlfriends speak up over them. They they say re embar uh, reveal okay, embarrassing secrets and shit. Yep, over talk yep. them all this extra shit. I'd be looking at the dude like, yo, are you serious? I can't tell you guys. When I, if I'm out with a girl and she's like talking or whatever. Now, my girl started doing some shit like that. We got a problem for real. Now, that would get checked fast. That would get checked fast. Oh, no, no, no. Because I'm not going to do that to you. You damn sure ain't going to do that to me. Uh, I agree with him on that. I, that that don't fly. When we're talking too much, I tell her, yo, shut up. Stop talking. Just like that. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, you think thinking of the fresh, 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 fresh heard it the other I day. I'd be like, God damn. Oh, shit. Like, come here. <laughs> oh, be God, quiet. bro. You know, and, and, and I'll just be like, yo, shut up. Sheesh. Stop talking. You're embarrassed. Wild, like, what's wrong with you? It's, yeah. and, and sometimes you got to do that so she understands that there's a line. You can't, you can't do this shit. You know, because like I said, guys, women only are aroused and attracted to you when they respect you. That respect has to come sometimes at the bottom of a fucking gator on her neck. All right? There's a reason why pimps were so good with women. It's not because, you know, they're out here the slick talk or whatever. It was the fear of him leaving her that kept her attracted. Now, am I telling you guys to be fucking pimps and run around and smack chicks? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that you need to understand the fundamental um, foundation of female attraction comes from respect. And that respect comes from the fear of loss, which that means you need to actually instill that fear of loss by staying high value and focusing on yourself. Not these girls, man. Man, don't the Marco. Dang. <laughs> over here sweating, calories. bro. Yeah, I'm like over here sweating, like sweating calories. Because yeah. yo, it gets me so mad when I see guys. Because I know this guy's a higher earning guy. Yeah, but he's not a bad looking dude. The grand scheme of the message he was putting out in the video, I overall do agree with. Young men, let me tell you this: you need to focus on yourself. You need to find what your purpose is in life, and you need to pursue that. That needs to be your number one thing as a young man. You need to work hard, you need to take care of yourself, you need to put them hours in. That will attract women. Women are attracted to ambition, all right? That is that is absolutely true. All that stuff he was talking about there, absolutely true, okay? When you don't focus on them, they focus on you more, all right? When you're chasing them, they know you're thirsty, all right? So that is true. You do need to become the best version of yourself. All right, and that and a lot of things go into that. That can be a whole separate video, but I don't agree with everything he says. I, I just don't. All right, um, a lot of this stuff is just, I don't know. It sounds like the woman just doesn't, I like my woman to have a little bit of a mind. I like her to, I like her to talk to me. I want us to, I want her to be able to feel like she can come to me and tell me something, you know? And I feel like a woman that's with him, if she's unhappy with anything, she probably feels like she couldn't come to him and, and talk to him about it. If you're going to do relationships, I do think there needs to be a two-way street when it comes to respect, all right? It can't just be 100% your way of the highway, all right? It, even if you're providing and doing things like that, sacrifice is going to come in a relationship no matter who you both are in it, no matter what your statuses are, you're going to sacrifice something, all right? So my thing is with this is, if you want a woman to just pretty much be a doormat i mean that's cool but for me that that's just not how i want to roll like if you remember the movie coming to america with eddie murphy the reason he went to america to find his wife was because he didn't want a doormat woman the woman they arranged for him everything in her life was catered to favor him it was catered for his liking he didn't want that he wanted someone with their own mind their own ideas and I, that's the kind of woman I would want to want to, but I definitely don't want no girl who's out here doing the club stuff and all that. That That's not me. I'm just not going to date someone like that. So I do agree with him there, but there are some points I, I don't agree with. But overall, the message was good and he definitely had something good to say, young gentlemen. So that has been your video. That has been my reaction. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more content. All right, I'll throw the socials up here. All right, I'll be back on Friday with some advice. Peace.